Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, we are back after a bit of a break. I'm back from holidays, ready to get into some more Minecraft. Uh, last time, I believe, we, we were trying to get um, some Canthal together to upgrade our um, Blast Furnace. Canthal, of course, needs the Vacuum Freezer, and the Vacuum Freezer needs EV tier circuits. EV tier circuits are, of course, EV. Uh, last time I did say that that was gated behind the EV tier. Um, it kind of is, kind of isn't. I mean, EV tier circuits are EV tier, so um, we need to start dipping our toes into that um, to get stuff made. Now, all of these EV tiers, I mean, this one here is a lot of power, slightly less power. This one's within reach, uh, but the thing we need is the clean room. Every single um, one of these needs a clean room, so that's gonna be the next thing we need to make. Now, we have a bunch of black steel going here, and that is because in our quests, multi-block tab clean room, uh, pressure plate, easy, reinforced door, yep, we've done all of these things before. Uh, those we've definitely done before. And now this is the bit that needs a bit of extra stuff. So, 82 Plascrete blocks. Yeah, bunch of concrete, bunch of polyethylene pulp, and some black steel frame boxes. We need 82 of these, which means 164 black steel ingots, which is why I am smelting up a bunch of black steel. Um, we've got our concrete plant over here. Uh, for making concrete blocks, but what I'll do is we'll just take this fluid solidifier out um, We'll throw in an assembler and that way the wet concrete that we make in here can just flow into there and we can make the blocks uh, That we need to make uh, and that'll get that done the other things Yeah, nothing too crazy in here either stainless steel so some HV tier stuff an MV motor uh, item filters yeah we probably will use the carbon mesh one because it's a bit cheaper controller again stainless hv 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 yeah nothing is too crazy in there we've done it all already um, so all that's left for me to do is to go and make all of these bits and pieces because um, i do want this episode to be about actually using the clean room and assembling it rather than uh, making the components um, so I will race off, make all these components, and come back in a bit, and hopefully we'll have, well, I'll have found a spot to put it, and we'll get the clean room, um, clean room put together. All right, I will see you back in just a moment. All right, I have made a ton of stuff, and boy, whew, it took a long time making these filters. Honestly, it's just... Yeah, making a filter, making a filter. Um, tons of zinc, raw carbon mesh. I think in the end, because I made the carbon the slow way um, with carbon dust and polyethylene, I I need to get to PDFE um, and even epoxide at some point. Um, but of course, you get better yields for those. But at the moment, I had this, which means I needed eight. I think it was eight hundred and sixty-four carbon dusts. Um, luckily, you can combine four of the ash um, from. The nether into uh, dark ashes and then you can centrifuge that to get some stuff so what are we going to do we've got fuel coming along here we're going to need power inside this thing or power on the outside of it um, so what i was going to do was put it here so we're going to build a five by five by five uh, fuel line comes under along here so we want the fuel to run up the side <clears throat> we'll have one two three four five here so one two three four five oh, come on last bits I'll tidy this up later. Um, what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> this is the top of it here. So, the bottom is gonna be made of the plascrete blocks, which will be five. Ah, not enough. Cool, so there's the five there, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we'll run these up the back as well. Now on this side, we're gonna wanna run our, oh, I haven't got my machine casings. <clears throat> so obviously the clean room itself takes power now over here I did leave my door, all my other stuff that I needed for it. 
So we're going to use MV to power it. I'll probably just use a, I don't know, a standard, standard generator for it potentially. Now we want some light in here, yep. Cool, so how tall is this? One, two, three, four, five. So there is another layer to go on. And this will be like that. Now, in the middle of this, we're gonna need filter machine casing. So every block that is not an edge block needs these in it. The center block is the controller. And if we look at this, Yep, so it's going to need the usual maintenance hatches and all that stuff. So I was going to put this down the bottom. Let's grab all this stuff out. We want a, a light source in here. Now, <clears throat> MV energy hatch. So the MV energy hatch we are going to put maybe at the back. And then we want the MV machine holds can pass things through. So we want probably, and this is for automation and stuff like that. So I'm just going to, oh, they've got a dot on the side. That's interesting. That is very interesting. All right, let's see what we can do. We're gonna need the maintenance hatch. Let's make the maintenance hatch at the front. We'll put that around. We want the last one of these here. Do we have enough? <laughs> Perfectly. Now we need the reinforced door to be there. We need definitely plates to open and close. Oh look, it's changed color. Awesome. So this clean room has now changed color all right so i'm gonna to need to tidy this up here and we'll get our power sorted we might just do this and give ourselves some more light in here so i'm gonna to need to grab a few more things and sort this out with some power i'm hoping oh yeah there we go we can look at this clean controller pipe is loose something stuck plating is a dent da 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 all the stuff so what i'm gonna do with that I do have some of that magic tape left over. Now the magic tape there. Magic tape isn't that easy to make. <clears throat> well, I suppose it is, it's just the carbon stuff. Uh, but we should be able to <laughs> tape it up. And now, clean room controller. Yep, hit with the mallet if it doesn't start. And we may need to make sure the door is shut. Oh, look at that it's all good okay so i am going to get ourselves a power source i will fix up the floor here we'll run our we'll run our fluid line through there yep so i'll run the fluid through to here we'll run it up to here put ourselves some power in um and then we should be ready to at least well actually what we can do is we can put power on the outside actually yeah there's a better idea so what i'll do is we'll put a battery buffer i think i'll use my usual trick we'll put an mv battery buffer here or even behind yeah we might put the battery buffer yeah, I'll sort it out anyway. We'll get a battery buffer, some batteries, because I want to run power both to this and through one of these blocks to the inside to power um, the machine inside. Although, what is it that we're actually asking of it? We want to build EV tier stuff. 120 EU per tick, awesome. So that is an MV machine, circuit assembler. So we can do that with MV, molten tin, 
yeah, there's a few different versions of it, but it's all 120 EU per tick. The next tier up, 600, yeah, that's beyond MV, that's EV. Uh, but still, this one here, we should be able to do with MV, which means MV battery buffer, a couple of MV batteries, or maybe three in there, just so that we can run enough machines inside as well as the room. Yeah, we should be good. Cool. All right, I'll be back again in just a bit once I tidy this up and make a couple more machines. See you in a sec. Okie dokie, I've made a bunch of things and I've realized I've come over here and forgotten my wrench. So we are going to need my wrench, we're going to need my uh, snips, yep, no, those are the branch cutters, ah, there they are, wire cutters. So over here, I've decided to change stuff around a little bit, let's grab this. We, instead of that one being there, we want these two to be for power. Uh, the next one up, oh, pickaxe for that, that's all right. So we're gonna put it there for now. Throw that one there, throw the machine hull there, which means that the battery buffer, which I have now made, can go here awesome uh, I have a bunch of annealed copper cable so one will go to there one will go to there and they will connect up we need our wire cutters to say connect to there connect to there we need our generator here but we're going to now I'm hoping one generator is going to be enough to do this. I, <clears throat> I I don't actually know how much this takes. So we'll see how we go. Um, that's there, that's there, that's there. Cool. Uh, we have some fluid pipes which should get filled with fuel. Yep. Uh, we need to go for there, for there, there, and there. Oh, actually, no, that is not where we want it to go. We want it to be there. Now we need the wrench connect those that can go there so this one's got fuel yes connect and we should be yep that is doing stuff this should power these now and it looks like fuel is flowing in there enough these should peak up yep as soon as the buff is filled okay so we now have power in there this is complete we should be able to just cover that over that lets us monitor the power level turn it off and on if we need to we can get to the batteries these two will be for you know miscellaneous stuff uh, this MV machine hole here is for the power so let's just test the theory we want one there and we want one there this is going to be such a tightly run thing we have the advanced circuit assembly machine and the fluid extractor which should yeah wow this is really going to be tight okay so we want to have the fluid extractor there and we want the circuit assembling machine look let's just call it there we want the no oh, those are the branch cutters what am i doing we want that connected and that connected we want that to output to that side so we can put soldering alloy in this is pretty much going to be dedicated for evt here we're going to pass stuff in and out of these hopefully once we get going that is now running awesome do we have yeah okay i mean hit with a thing to start or restart is it started machine processing enabled oh look it's running running perfectly awesome so we should be able to ah. 
run out. Now, how much are we using? Cool, so power is still coming into these in spite of the room running. So this is gonna use power all the time. I'm gonna to have to be very careful about how I use the power here. Um, <laughs> dodgy tape holding it together. Now, let's get some soldering alloy and make sure the power is passing through the wall. I think I have some in here. Soldering alloy ingot, fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to need to make this quite a bit bigger, I think. Now, does it go in? No, we are not extracting power. So, how does that happen? Does this have to be around the other way? Hmm, power runs into there. Maybe this needs to be the other way around. Okay, so let's just kill that and disable that. Um, that should... Processing disabled. It's still spinning though. Look, if we do that, and let's. Maybe that's what it is. Output is on one side. So the dot usually means output. I should have known that. Let's just make sure we are processing enabled, processing enabled. Ah, oh, look at that. Soldering light. Awesome. We can throw that through there. We now have soldering alloy sitting in there. Um, let's just give it a bit more. Cool, so one of these can be input and one of these can be output. I'm guessing items have to flow out through that one and in through this one. We'll try that with item pipes at some point. Um, not today though. <clears throat> the thing that I need to do today is I wanted to get some of this. So I wanna make my first EV tier. I need some more HV tier. I'm short on processes altogether. So I'm gonna have to cut this once again Man, you gotta be quick to get out of there. I might put the door, yeah, I might put the door on the other side. Um, so what I might do is I've got a few bits and pieces to get. I do have the plastic circuit boards. I have some SMD diodes. <clears throat> uh, I do also need, yeah, I've got one HV tier. So I'm gonna need more of the HV tier. To make the HV tier, I need MV tier, which I've only got four of and then 22 yeah okay i'm gonna to need to make a bunch more circuits so i'll run away i'll make a bunch more circuits and hopefully we'll make the first ev tier circuit that we need um by the end of the episode so i'll see you back here in just a bit Alrighty, i am back and i've got enough stuff to hopefully make four of these ev tier circuits um four plus there's one unknown and that is these eight advanced circuits here uh in the recipe it calls for the processor assembly but when you click on it it sort of seems to indicate they're all equivalent. So what I'm going to try and do is we'll duck into here. We'll have that, 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 that. Hmm, nothing work. Ah, let me just turn back on the processing. <laughs> no dice. All right, so this is not going to work um, until we can figure out how to get these which are the yellow ones which are those needs a clean room which needs this integrated processor which needs a clean room uh and on that molten tin there we go we probably want this one molten soil yellow uh most of these things i've seen before central processing unit however it needs to be cut in a cutting machine in a clean room and then this here needs the laser engraver also in a clean room so it sounds like in order to make any of the clean room circuits you need to start from the basic tier with clean room stuff all the way along so what i'm going to do is i will rejig this a little bit i'm thinking of putting this machine hull up here so that the power comes in across the back i will put yeah probably the power through the middle we'll have these two machines across the back there and then i've got room at the top to put the laser engraver from here as well as well we'll make another advanced cutting machine and we'll have a tank full of um, lubricant for here and we'll just bucket the lubricant in as required um, 
yeah, I can't imagine we're going to use it in lots at this point. So let me duck away. I will make these last tweaks and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to come back and make some stuff in the clean room. Even if it is just the first basic tier stuff, I just want to prove that this clean room works uh, before we close out the episode. So I'll be back once again, hopefully for the last time in just a bit. All right, back for hopefully the last time. I am just, I've just emptied... <laughs> emptied this combustion um, generator here. We are going to throw it down there and then cut that. I'm just moving everything along a little bit so we can cut down on the waste. So let's connect, throw four of those in there. We want to uh, throw that down there connect those oh, missing one more and then hopefully once this is connected i have a plan for making just the lv circuits for here um i know we were going to try and do hv but those seem to be a little bit of a way off just because i need to make the lv first um and then turn those into mv and those into um, the hv ones and then from there into the Hooray, cool. So, uh, I don't have any of those on me. So, I did put this stuff differently. So, we have ourselves an advanced precision laser engraver. Um, we've got a cutting machine. Unfortunately, I the lubricant, I can't get out of the machine. Um, I've tried a few different ways to get that out. So, we're just going to have to use water for the moment. It's going to cost us a little bit more, but that's okay. In fact, we probably don't need that water in there either um, now the other thing we wanted to do was with the wafer so we wanted to get this in here now this is not running and I think it's because the doors not shut and the clean room is not running so let's turn the clean room on look at that Cool, so this recipe only works inside a clean room and this should be making what we're going for, for is we're going for a recipe similar to this. Um, yeah, this one here, but not with lead. We're doing it with uh, soldering alloy. So 16 of these, 16 of these, 32, 32, 32, 32. I do actually have all of those waiting in there, just waiting for the last little bit, which I require the clean room for. So that's what this bit's for. <clears throat> And once we have this bit through, we should be able to cut it in here for eight. The eight can go in there. And then hopefully we'll end up with the, the better LV tier out the other side. Come on, finish. Oh. Where did that go? Now we're not set to output at all. Is there only a chance of making one? Now that is very interesting. So we need to make this. No, there's no chance. It needs the clean room, the wafer, dilithium lens. We decided to go for the diamond lens so it doesn't get consumed. The wafer goes to essential processing unit. Wafer needs clean room. Well, we've got the clean room, we've got everything in place to make it, and yet that just lost something. It's not set to auto output. I wonder if we have just found a bug or because I had the door open just for a little bit at the start. Come on, next one. No, it looks like we have found a bug. Well, let me run away quickly. I will make a slightly different lens. We'll try without the diamond lens. We'll try maybe one of the glass lenses or the auto lenses. Either way, one of the clear ones is required here. Uh, and then hopefully we'll make... Yeah, that is really not good at all. All right, I'll be back. Hopefully, I know that I said this was going to be the last time, but it looks like we've got a little bit of a bug we need to work around. So I'll be back again in just a sec. 
Alrighty, I am back and I've tried a glass lens and as you can see we have a central processing unit there so it appears that it is just the diamond lens that is a bit broken so not sure what to say about that this is going to cut for a while longer ah oh, we don't even have enough power to run it there should be four amps in there let's just turn that off now what I might do is I'll do item auto output. I've set this to the side, so that should go into here. Uh, once that is output, we should... Yeah, so if we do that, that needs 120 EU per tick. And when we use this in the... Wow, cool. Uh, cutting machine, 120 EU per tick. So it should... It should, in theory, work at the same time as the other stuff. But let's get this to finish and auto output should mean it goes next door ta-da and there we go let's see if we can start this up now yep so it's going to take a while all right let me just cut again we'll wait the fo wait for these two to finish and hopefully that'll give us 16. 16 can go into here we can make our first clean room circuits um, although we are going to need Yeah, some soldering alloy. Let's just throw it all on there. Now we're not going to move it from here. Cool. Uh, and then, wow, we're out of power again there. So what is wrong? Is that because I'm standing on the... See, we have four of these, which should be one, two, and then maybe another one there, three, four, five. So it's five EU per tick being lost which still keeps us under the limit for 120. Besides, it should top up with extra ones of those. Right, so you really have to make sure you are off the pad, essentially. All right, let me get these two cut. I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, here we go. Last, last thing to do to get off the pad, throw those in there. Whoa, our first clean room circuits. It's only taken us a little bit of hit and miss and extra things to do. Um, all right, so from here, what we can do is we're getting double of these out of it, which is great. So we'll end up with 32 of them. Uh, we can then use them in the circuit assembler to make the MV tier ones. Um, obviously, we want to make the better ones. So if we go, uh, we can't make the better ones. But at least not through any eye that way. Uh, if we look at it this way, however, we can now see the clean room ones. Uh, and they also need central processing unit. All right, so you can go straight to MV without needing LV. That's all right. We just need to get a few other things. But that doesn't matter. We have a bunch of LV stuff that we've been wanting to make for a while anyway. Um, so that will at least top up. Um, my circuits that I have uh, and we can make the rest of the stuff to make the rest of the circuits that we need and hopefully into EV so between now and next time I'll make all the precursor stuff for the EV circuits um, the things that we're going to need uh, this particular one uh, this one here yep, needs the MVT stuff either there or in that first spot yeah, I think it's going to be easier to make. Yeah, so it's not that HVT. You've got to be careful with any eye the way this thing works. Uh, so we're going to need probably this set. So MVT, we're going to need some small coils, capacitors, random access chips, fine red LA wire. Nothing too complicated here, um, but we'll make some of those between now and next time. Anyway, that is going to be all from me for this time. It has been a pretty big episode to come back to. Um, we've made our clean room. The clean room actually works. Uh, we will also need to, yeah, we're going to need to fix up a few things and potentially make our clean room a bit bigger to make it usable. Obviously, we can't use any of these input and output things just yet, um, just because it's simply not big enough. Uh, but once we make it bigger, it should become pretty usable for making uh, making our circuits. All right, so as I said, that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.